Got to make it to the 42 for the first. Picked off Polamalu. Polamalu going right. The field is open. Aaron Smith shields Flacco. Polamalu takes it home. I don't think I love football. I love life. I love life, but football is a part of life. And in that way, I do love football. I don't idolize football. Football doesn't run my life. Football's not who we are, it's what we do. You know, he's very quiet. Never asks for much. He never wants to be the vocal leader on this team. He just wants to play football and be happy doing it. He might be one of the greatest athletes that I've ever met. He can do things that no other safety can do. So is the sellout crowd. Palomaro sacks Kippen. The rookie number one pick on the first sack of the day. Here comes the heat. Ray's in trouble. Good feet. Stripped to the ball. It's in play. And the Steelers might have it. It was stripped by Troy Palomaro, the rookie from Southern California. Dealing. Dancing. Steps up. Throws on the run. Picked off Troy Palomaro with the interception. Whether he likes it or not, he's facing one here. 2.15 to go in the fourth. And intercepted! Picked off by his former roommate at USC, Troy Polamalu. Polamalu is still on his feet. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Wow. Look at Polamalu just reading the eyes of the quarterback, sliding down the line, getting into the throwing lane. Another blitz. McNabb throws underneath, and it's Pulamalu. That Pulamalu is one heck of a young player. It's the blitz. They pick it up. Garcia throwing deep for Brian. Intercepted by Pulamalu. Pulamalu has man coverage. See, Pulamalu's going to run with him the whole way. Open. Oh, there's Pulamalu. Great timing. And how about the hands? Palmer will throw it. And Pulamalu. Left sideline, and he's picked. It's Polamalu. How did he get out there and get this football? The Pittsburgh Steelers, so they get an extra body back there. Blitz are hit by Polamalu and sacked and brought down. Intercepted by Polamalu. Troy Polamalu on his way to the Pro Bowl for plays like that. Polamalu at the line of scrimmage, then drops back from the outside to the inside. A lot of what makes Troy's is hair. The hair gives him like a Samson look. It's very luxurious. No player's hair has ever matched their style of play better than Troy Polamalu. Wild. All over the place. Yeah, it was a thing of beauty. There's something about putting that helmet on, he just became the Tasmanian devil and he's out here destroying people. Beautiful, beautiful play by Troy Polamalu. The things that make Troy Troy are also the things that make him a little different. He uses innate ability to read quarterbacks and anticipate and take calculated risks. 15 at Pittsburgh. McNair throws a strike, bobbled by Bennett, intercepted on the defection by Polamalu. The second turnover today. Here come the Blitzers. Hard stands in. Here's a blitzer, it's Palomalu. David Carr is thrown down like a small child by the 210-pound Troy Palomalu. Yet another sack of Carr. And contend for a playoff spot. Here's Carr. And Palomalu with his third sack of the day. He's everywhere. It was almost like he knew the scenario called for this play, and he was ready for the play. He was so fast. Wow. He just made that play. Bar. No chance. Fumbles. Polamalu scoops it up. Polamalu with one man chasing him. Donald Lee and now he's off and untouched. And it looks like 77 yards is the distance for Troy Polamalu. From the 18 yard line. Great play fake. Buys time and it is picked off by Polamalu. The 42. And Johnson spun down as Polamalu comes up to make the tackle. Now to MCL and ACL for Palmer. And Polamalu has the interception. Troy Polamalu, what a good job 
seeing the quarterback looking, and again, reacting to it. Three guys out in front, and the only defender there is Troy Polomalo. I don't know how Troy doesn't get blocked, but he makes a great play, splits all three offensive linemen. Played by Pittsburgh, and, and, and Nick Saban did challenge late. And that's picked off by Polomalo. Do you need a play on defense? He's going to make the play. Dewar, quick pass over the middle, intercepted Palomaru. Palomaru to the outside. 40. Midfield. And pulled out of bounds inside the 40-yard line. Track down by Larry Johnson Ooh. from behind. He grabbed him by his hair. He got the hair. Pittsburgh on the all-out blitz. Third and six. And it's open. And Palomaru comes in at the last minute with the theft. Roddy White down the field. What a play by Polamalu. How's that for a safety? He's back. He's looking. He waits. He dumps it and spat it down. Back to Vic. He's going to run to the far sideline. And Polamalu knocks him out of bounds at the eight-yard line. Fly it to him like a jet. Wow. Pitch out to Rashard Lee. A great defensive play by Polamalu. He's a coordinator's dream. You can do anything with him. There is really no player on the defensive side in the secondary that matches what Polamalu can do. Troy Palomalo will change again. He has closing speed. It's just amazing. On television, you don't see Troy in the screen. And all of a sudden, you see this thing darting and make the play. Just like a jet comes out of nowhere. I like the kid Troy. You know, he thinks he's a great broken field runner. <laughs> you know, when he gets the ball, you can pretty much book he's going to cut across the field. Palomalo picks it up. Then he flattens Curtis Smart. Shotgun, corner, over the middle, complete, inside the 40, lost the football, Palomalu has it. Palomalu coming this way, gets a block, 45, close to midfield. Only so much you can do when it rains as hard as it did tonight. Swarmed under his McGee. Excellent job by Troy Palomalu, diagnosing the play. He'll run with Willis. Who dances, made a man miss, lost the football. Troy Palomalo comes in, just knocks it out. Here come the Steelers on the blitz. And throws an interception. Palomalo. That play and this one as well. First down toss. And that's over to Deshaun Jackson, the rookie, during the regular season. Until now, ball batted in the air. Palomalo almost got there. The Steelers think they have it. That was off the fingertips of L.J. Smith and off a vicious hit. It was batted in the air. Watch Polamalu goes out. Oh wow. My God. What an athletic play by Polamalu. That guy with the ball is going to go down. To me, he's the best batter in football. Watch the way he tackles. He never slows up. He runs through everything. Had to hold the breath till the very end. Rivers. Open. Jackson drops it and Polamalu. Unbelievable. What a catch. Wow. He got his hand underneath there. Get his body in position. You think there's no way he can still make the catch. You just scoop it up. Just fingertips. National Football League right now. Polamalu with the interception. At the goal line. And there goes Troy. Jackson stepping up. Down the middle of the field. Intercepted by Polamalu. Polamalu back to the 20. Troy Polamalu picks off his old movie. Romo, a little fake with his shoulders, and he's picked off Polamalu another. Tashard Choice is showing what he's made of as Polamalu makes the play a gain of only one. The American Football Conference Championship game. Be special today. I need you. I need you today, man. I'm not going to walk away from the game saying, you know what? Maybe I should have stepped just a little bit out of my shell. It would have made the difference, you know, in winning and losing this game. When I think about Troy and I try to define some of the plays or the moments that are his. There was an AFC championship. And we had a fourth down and one. And Flacco is going to run a quarterback sneak. They send a guy in motion, and Troy's got this guy man to man. And right when they get to the football, he stops tracking his guy and he runs toward the line of scrimmage. Here's the oh. sneak. Flacco, second chance, second effort. Oh, and it looks like they're going to mark him over, short God, of it. Polamalu was the first to come over the top. Joe Flacco goes right with him. There's no power behind this. Look of at Polamalu over the top. Oh, my gosh. He stopped way short. He won that game later. 
and secures the AFC Championship for us. Turn over time, man. Turn over time. Let's go. Flacco in the shotgun, drops the throw, throws over the middle, intercepted by Palomalo at the 40 near side, 35 at the 30. He's at the 25 running to his right side. He's picking up some free space on the far side at the 20, 15, 10, 5. He's in. Touchdown. Oh! Pittsburgh going to the Super Bowl. A 40-yard return by Troy Palomalo. Troy Palomalo came across the field because he saw Joe Flacco under pressure and looking to his right to Polamalu's left. We also felt like this is our division. There's no better way to drive that point home than beat them in the AFC Championship game and beat them three times in a football season. What makes teams great? What makes games great? And it's these, these opportunities that seldom they come. Raymond James Stadium, the site of Super Bowl 43. The adversity that we had faced throughout the course of the year had prepared us for that moment. Coach always talks about the sticky Lombardi. All these marks, you know, have memories and a lot of players that have worked really hard to get their hands on this. The Pittsburgh Steelers have won the Super Bowl for a six-time unprecedented. Palomalo's presence changes everything. He's the whole key to that defense. You cannot say enough about what he means to that Steelers team. What a play by Troy Palomalo. The best safety in the business. He was just a guy that was everywhere. He was always there at the critical time. He could sniff a play. He anticipated a play. His range and his ability to just sacrifice his body to make plays, whether it was a tackle you know, in the run game or what he did in coverage. Second down and five. Here's Collins back to pass again. Going deep downfield into Whoa. traffic and what an interception one-handed by Troy Polamalu. Wow. I'll say Collins in the shotgun on third and six. And it's an inside handoff and making the tackle is Polamalu. Check Red out line. the speed of Troy Polamalu here. He was about 10 yards off the ball and absolutely ripped up and caught him in the backfield. Three tight ends, first and ten from the 29. Peterson running left, and he is brought down by Polamalu. These teams are well prepared and well coached. The number means nothing. Oh, Polamalu flying in to make a first down stop. But right here, he shot his gun. He came flying off that corner. He is a vicious tackler. He seems to play very intuitive and get to the ball, wherever it may be. Denver cannot run the ball. Orton throws, intercepted Polamalu. He makes the play in one game, intercepts Orton in a key spot again. Will Mike Tomlin challenge the reception? No, they don't. They barely got Townsend on the field in time. And boy, I'll tell you, the Steelers who were out there ready to go make the play on Benson, including Polamalu. He's a guy that if I had to line up against him, I would want to know where he is on every single play. And even when you think you know where he's at, he's probably not there, he's probably somewhere else. From the 21, Matty Ice first pass, and it's picked off. Troy Polamalu with the interception. What remains, first and 10, and here comes the quarterback. Young intercepted by Palomalu. Palomalu, <laughs> how about that? Play. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why not? He's had that kind of a day. Wow. Where'd that airplane come from? Superman. Second down and 10 at the nine yard line. The handoff, Cadillac Williams and Troy Palomalu came out of nowhere. Right up. Collapsing pocket, Palmer, T.O. took a shot and held on. Steelers are coming. Gretkowski unloads, intercepted. Palomalu's got it for Pittsburgh. The blitz. Off the head, Palomalu with the interception. Troy Palomalu. Bell with the block. Ooh, and a hit by Polamalu. Dropped by Stevie Jackson. Second and ten. At the 20, Willis McGahey is the running back. Here, McGahey gets stuffed in the backfield by Troy Polamalu. And he gets knocked down, and the ball is loose, and it's Polamalu. It's picked up by Woodley, and he gets taken down to the 10 yard line. Huge, huge play. Get his team lit up with that visual aid. Jermaine Gresham's in the lineup. Polamalu picks it off. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown. 
Look at that athleticism by Troy Polamalu reaching the ball over the pylon for the touchdown. That is remarkable. End zone. Intercepted. Polamalu. Troy, he got a bad ankle. And he pitches it back. What are you doing? You're killing me. <laughs> Shotgun formation for McCoy. Throwing, knocked up in the air and kicked off. It's Troy Polamalu. Polamalu picks up his seventh pick of the year. What happened? And it just tip, tip up in the air, and you're like on watch on film. Everything Polamalu goes up in the air, he catches. Guys like Troy Polamalu are the guys that you get down in your stance, you look back there, and you take off for a route, and you think you're free and next thing you know, they're coming out of nowhere. I saw Paul Malu take off to the right on the snap. I came back to the six, I couldn't see it. I'm running right into Paul Malu. Paul Malu, Paul Malu. Paul Malu came and smashed on this side. Yeah, yeah. that was Paul Malu. Alert Paul Malu over the top. He's a very good cerebral player. He makes a lot of plays because he's smart and he watches a lot of film and he can tell. He anticipates really, really well. Troy Paul Malu timed it perfectly. Sometimes it looks like he's cheating or he's guessing, but he's making educated guesses out there. From the 30 on first and 10, Jackson steps up, avoids the pressure. And now we call Paul Bottle. Who's in front of the guy, and it gives Painter an opportunity to throw it instead. A fumble, and Paul Amato will take it into the end zone. First down, McCoy. There it is. There it is. That time he did jump on it. Palomalu coming back the other way. Back in play. Setting up the screen to James Casey on the final side of the field. Casey. You're not going to jump over Palomalu. He'll rise right up with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not many players in this game anticipate the snap count quite like Troy Palomalu. <laughs> Gabbard is now 5 of 10. Gabbard hit as he throws and he goes down. Troy Polamalu. Well, where's Polamalu? Well, he's right in your face. Spent seven years as an assistant under his brother in Tampa Bay. And it's Andrew Hawkins with Troy Polamalu over there defensively. Timmons has already had a sack for that Pittsburgh D. First and ten, they turn it over on down. Straight to yard line, and look at that. Oh, oh, wow. Completely stops that play, a loss of three, a sack. What a play <laughs> by Troy Polamalu. He hit Seneca Wallace before he could run the play. Times it up perfectly. Put in for Ferrier, third down and two. Here comes Worlds. Oh, he's picked off by Troy Polamalu. Did he stay in bounds? Yes, he did. He's a pressure leads to picks. And see, Polamalu takes advantage of up the middle and immediately gets in on Dalton. Been making plays for years against the Bengals. His first career sack came against Cincinnati back in 2003. Athletically, he can do things that no other safety can do. He sensed it. It looks like he saw the future. He was a Jedi. He was one with the football. You know, he is a ball magnet. Troy Polamalu said, no way. Troy Polamalu is the biggest hitter in Steelers history. He plays like a guided missile. Great tackle, flying in there is Polamalu. Don't want to take any chances. Oh, Polamalu, again jumping the gun. We're talking about having a quarterback snap count down pat. Just that feeling of winning football, which we're so used to. It's a vintage Troy Polamalu trying to time a snap, get back there and cause havoc. And Brandon Marshall gets taken down by Troy Polamalu. This guy makes the flashiest plays of anybody in the National Football League. Watch him come all the way across. <laughs> There's the pass to a wide open throw. Polamalu pounds him. Oh. Had to hurt. Taken on his former hometown team. Third to seven prior. Spinning away from the defense and throws a pick. Troy Polamalu. And he's inside Raiders territory. And McFadden is trapped for a loss by Polamalu. Great play Troy by Troy. Just, he's just special. And he's a coming in on Brady. He got it away in time. Ball comes out. They say it was a catch. The big hit. And oh, he rips his hands through there. Polamalu is there. Good block by Laval. And this is Obanaya. Polamalu brings him down. And the ball was joined loose. Watch Troy Palomalu come in with the hit on Chris Obanai and just robs him of his mail. Third and ten. Weeding back. Pocket collapses. 
He, the ball's out. He's hit and sucked. Steelers pick it up. Polamalu stripped it. Troy Polamalu, another big takeaway. See loss, but they're down against the Bengals. Tannehill throws. Intercepted. It's Polamalu. Diving. Polamalu going airborne. Touchdown, Steelers. What an effort. Troy doing what Troy does. And the tight end lunging and then loses the ball. Ball definitely gets ripped out by Paul Amalek. Third and eight, Flynn. He got away from one. And he's getting a blind. He fumbled the ball. Kiesel may have vacuumed it in. And it is a fumble by the quarterback. And the Steelers have picked it up. Throw it. Back to him to come over to fourth set. Closing in on him is Paul Amalu. This is Tate. And Tate tripped up by Troy Polamalu. Fitzpatrick holds it, throws it, crossing. Hopkins to midfield. DeAndre Hopkins lost the football. Pulled out by Mike Mitchell, and Polamalu has it for Pittsburgh. Polamalu sneaks in there, comes up with a takeaway for the 39th time. In his Steeler career, they put Troy up on the big screen, and the fans wave their towels in appreciation. There's a lot of temptation on the football field, dealing with arrogance, of ego, of pride that I just try to protect myself against. I think there comes a point in a game where you're not really cognitively thinking. You just kind of see the way that everything develops, the way the, the offensive linemen come up, the way they get set. You kind of see their splits. You kind of see the quarterback's energy. And the more and more you play the game of football, the more and more you have the sensitivity, the rhythm of the football game. Right when you need a big play, who shows up? Number 43. I know this guy is a ridiculous competitor. His heart is just, it's huge. I'm, I'm very proud to be his teammate. I'd like to think that I share that same passion that they do. However, I may not express it the same way they do.